What's up, Wayne Baron here with DarkFix.net, and we are on our first video lesson for new users of the Windows 10 operating system. This is people that have upgraded from either Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1. Now, if you upgraded from Windows 7, then you might have noticed something. If you had multiple partitions, you would have to have gone in and deleted all of your partitions. So hopefully you was able to back everything up before you did this upgrade. So either way, uh, this is a lesson on how to partition out your drive space that you had to delete. So let's go ahead and jump into that. So we're going to come over here to our start menu. Click on it. As you can see here, we've got something way different than before. Because before we had uh, on Windows 8, you had to come over here to the right hand side. Put your cursor over here and it would drop down your menu here. Well, this is back to its original from, so we've got like the Windows 7, Windows 8. This right here is like the Windows 8 desktop thing or whatever the heck it was called. And then this right here is the Windows 7. So both of these together makes it really, really nice to work with. So let's come over here to settings. Now this computer is just a little bit slow due to the fact that the system processor is really really crappy this is a hp 2000 and they do not allow for cpu upgrades wouldn't you know it so anyway we're going to come over here to control panel it doesn't usually take this long but since i am recording on uh, uh recording the screen it is taking just a little bit too much time so let's go ahead and close all the stuff we do not need okay now next thing we want to do is that we want to come into our administrative tools Now we're going to come over here to Disk Management. Now Disk Management is going to show you all of the drives that are available on your system. Like right now we've got our C drive. Then we've got the D drive, which is the USB drive. That's the reason why it's showing EXT, which is Extended Fat Drive. And then it's showing System Reserve Drive of 350 megabytes. But we've also got 200 gigabytes sitting right here. And this is what we want to... Uh, create partitions of so we need this D drive. We need to actually change our drive letter So we want to come over here to train change letter and path and we're going to go ahead and change this to a Z Click on OK choose yes, and then this is going to change that to Z drive So now we will be able to use the D drive That was once there before so now let's right click on our unallocated Create a new simple volume, create next, and then right here you're going to choose how much drive space. Right now it's 205,243 megabytes. So we want to change this uh, to, we're going to do 50, 1, 2, 3, that's 50,000 megabytes, that's going to give you 50 gigs. Click on next, that's going to be our D drive, click on next, and this is going to be for uh, software. And then click on next and then finish okay now we've got 151.60 gigabytes left All right click on it choose new simple drive next and then we want to choose uh let's do uh 50 for this one as well one two three so basically all of these are going to be the same so we're just going to copy this next and it's going to be d uh some reason we do not have an E so we're gonna automatically skip over E okay there we go right there so let's delete that right click on this one we're gonna change drive letter path we're gonna change this to M click on OK that's that way it's a high enough letter to where it won't get in our way of doing what we need to do so once this changes now we can right click new simple volume next Paste in our 50,000, go to next, and now we've got our E drive, and then we're just going to leave this as new volume, and then click on next, and then finish. So basically, we're just going to continue doing this throughout the entire process, which will give us two more drive spaces. Now, if you've got a lot of videos and so forth, and you don't want to uh, break them up into 50s, it really all depends on how big of a hard drive that you have. This is my mother's system, so I'm making it to where it will work out for my mother for what she needs it 
for what she needs it to do. And so, uh, yeah, she doesn't really need a lot of space. And so now we're going to do our very last drive here. Right click, new simple volume, next. And then we're just going to leave it as default and then click on next. And then we got a G drive, click next and then finish. Okay, so now we've got all of this done. And that right there gives us our C, D, E, F, and G drive. And that Z drive will always take whenever I put in this 32 gigabyte USB drive. will always grab a hold of my Z drive. And now my CD ROM is going to be set at M. Okay, and that's basically it. That is how we uh, create partitions from an extended drive. Like I said, if you have a very large hard drive, you do not want to do 50 gigs per drive. You can do 100, 200, 500. Depends on how big your drive is and how much space you actually need. Like I said, this is for my mother's computer, so she does not really need a lot of drive space per partition. So 500 gigs is perfect for her, and it's perfect for the way that I've got it designed for her. Okay, Wayne Barron here with DarkFakes.net inside of Windows 10 for our new users. Y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.